Good evening, Mike. And I'm actually a little bit here behind City Hall around this levee. And as the rain has kind of slowed down a little bit, the wind is getting stronger and stronger as Tropical Storm Fred continues to come into the wiregrass. And right now, I'm actually joined here with Sheriff Tony Helms, who's going to tell me a little bit more about what areas and neighborhoods kind of will be impacted. So, Sheriff, what areas are you most concerned about or worried about getting flooded out? What we're concerned about mostly is some of the low lying dirt roads and low lying roads. Um, because water will come up over those fairly quick. That's the huge concern we have. And then um, people getting out and trying to run through. Them. And that's the last thing we need is people out trying to look and see what's going on. And, uh, and then we've already had a, a wet spring. We've had a wet early summer. Ground is already saturated. And even with these straight line winds, we're looking at the ground being softer and losing trees. And the last thing we need is people out looking for those. So, you know, we need everybody to stay at home, and, and that's our big concern right now, and hoping we don't have any tornadoes that come off of this, which usually happens during one of these tropical storms. Thank you, Sheriff Helms. And I remember a last tip that was kind of pushed on residents, do not drive into the floods at all as well. Stay safe and take a little bit of cover. All. You all can catch our storm coverage a little bit more if you visit WDHN.com to follow Tropical Storm Fred. Back to you guys.